coming up now. The second of our two Money in the Bank ladder matches. This one is going to be an amazing contest. This one, the all-star Money in the Bank ladder match. Where all six of these competitors have Money in the Bank ladder match experience. And are all former World or WWE Champions. First man out is going to be Randy Orton. As we know, Orton, a former world and WWE champion multiple times, and has been a numerous Money in the Bank ladder matches, as has this man, Christian. We have seen make his return only recently to the company, but Christian, a veteran in these matches, going to be looking to become the WWE champion for the first time in his career. He's not been WWE champion, but Christian, of course, has been a numerous time World Heavyweight Champion. As has this man, the big red machine Kane, making his way to the ring, former World and WWE Champion, and he's also a former Mr. Money in the Bank. And when he was Mr. Money in the Bank, as expected, Kane, because of that briefcase, becoming a World Champion, when he defeated Rey Mysterio when he cashed in the same night as winning that briefcase a couple of years ago now. The fourth man in this match, arguably the most popular wrestler in WWE today. You can hear the crowd going wild. It is Daniel Bryan, former world champion in his own right and a former Mr. Money in the Bank. Daniel Bryan has got to be one of the favourites for this contest. As has this man... CM Punk making his way to the ring. Punk, of course, making his triumphant return last month at Payback. CM Punk is a former two-time Mr. Money in the Bank. The only man in history to actually be a two-time winner. So Punk could possibly be the overall favourite in this match. We will see, though. And another moment now, the crowd will be looking forward to all night long. The huge return, RVD making his way to the ring, making his huge WWE return. We have not seen RVD in a WWE ring since 2006, aside from one or two appearances in the Royal Rumble. But still, as far as being a full-fledged member of the WWE roster, this is the first time we are seeing RVD since 2006 but the former WWE and ECW champion has got to be considered one of the favorites in this match especially considering we are here in Philadelphia which is the home of the original ECW which of course RVD was originally famous for but here we go we're underway Randy Orton, Kane, RVD, Daniel Bryan, Christian and CM Punk. All six men are going to be fighting for an opportunity to become Mr. Money in the Bank on the WWE Championship side. This match is going to be amazing. We can already see seconds in a huge choke slam by Kane onto CM Punk. And Kane again picking Punk straight back to his feet. Surely not. Oh, and a second choke slam in a matter of moments. This is not going to be a good start by CM Punk, but what a dominant start by Kane. Surely not a third time. It looks like he is Kane. Oh, a third consecutive choke slam onto CM Punk. What an amazing start by Kane. Kane going early for that briefcase. Can Kane shock the world and become Mr. Money in the Bank in the opening 60 seconds? Apparently not because the captain, Christian, interfering that time. You can see the seven-foot monster Kane. Hanging from that briefcase and the big red machine dropping like a sack of you-know-what back into the middle of the ring. So this match continues as we just saw a big tilt-to-world backbreaker by Daniel Bryan onto Randy Orton. And this match is going to be special. As I said, all of these men, former World or WWE Champions as well as veterans in the Money in the Bank ladder match. 
And keep an eye on the left side of your screen because CM Punk looks like he's got something planned for Christian. Oh, and he connects a huge superplex onto the outside of the ring. That is not going to be good for the back and the spine of the captain. And now RVD and Kane going at it now. These two guys, former tag team champions and former enemies as well. If you remember back in 2003, they had that huge feud over when Kane originally lost that mask and turned his back on RVD. And that was the first time we actually saw Kane unmasked in WWE history. But as we have seen in recent years, Kane again decided to put that mask back on. So tonight at Money in the Bank, Kane RVD, a new chapter in this long term friendship and rivalry. But plenty of action we can see in the ring. This match is going to be hard to call because we have got six great athletes. We have got action all over the place. We can see Daniel Bryan now face down on the right side of the monitor. We can see Randy Orton now about to go back to him. Keep an eye on Randy Orton. What is he going to be going for? Oh, sending Daniel Bryan hard into the ring. But Christian, oh, the Ampria under Kane. Or should I say the kill switch? So the kill switch under Kane. And now Christian, Captain Charisma, going to be looking to place that ladder down, to climb that ladder, to pull that briefcase down. Christian, of course, despite not being a Mr. Money in the Bank, Christian has won numerous ladder matches in his career, whether it be for the Intercontinental Championship or whether it be for the Tag Team Championship. Christian, definitely a veteran as far as as these extreme Atlanta matches go. All six men pairing off. Kane Christian, CM Punk RVD, and Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton. What a special match this has been. This is arguably the greatest lineup in a Money in the Bank match we have ever seen in the WWE. And Christian could be about to go for a ride. Not going for the choke slam, instead going for that tombstone. A huge tombstone on the Christian. And I think the captain has been busted wide open. CM Punk now in that barricade, not in a great position, but CM Punk somehow fighting back. Oh, Punk with a big vertical suplex type maneuver, sending RVD down. And what a great return RVD has had so far. I'm sure this run in WWE for RVD is going to be a great one, despite RVD being a veteran and being in the later stages of his career. There is no doubt about it. RVD can still get the job done. And I'm sure we're going to be seeing that as the weeks progress. But in the ring. Oh, King with that huge choke slam off the top of that ladder. Sending RKO down to the mat. You've got to say, Kane so far in this match. With numerous choke slams, numerous tombstones. Kane has been the most dominant man in the match so far. Oh, but Daniel Bryan now with that big neck breaker off that ladder to Christian. And RVD going for the climb, but CM Punk sending RVD back down again. What a great match. This has been action all over the place. But it has been a great one. CM Punk now, can he hit it? Yes, he can. The GTS onto Randy Orton. And it looks like Orton has been busted wide open. And Kane, like I said before, a dominating performance and another choke slam. This time under Christian. I think we have seen half a dozen choke slams at least in this match. And clearly, one GTS to Randy Orton wasn't enough because CM Punk has just delivered a second consecutive GTS to the Viper. 
Christian RVD climbing, but again, the dominating big red machine sending both men down to the mat. And something we've not even spoke about so far is Team Hell No. As you can see, Daniel Bryan and Kane now coming into each other's paths. These two guys, a tag team, or should I say a former tag team possibly, and former tag team champions. But Daniel Bryan with those huge kicks to the big red machine. Are we seeing the end of Team Hell No? It has got to be a possibility. But I guess we will see as the weeks and months progress. But it is clear Kane and Daniel Bryan have got their sights set on single success. And speaking of success, one of the most successful moves in wrestling history. The yes lock has been locked into the big red machine. But of course, even if Kane decides to tap out, that is not going to help because the only way to win this match is to climb that ladder, take down that briefcase, briefcase and become the brand new Mr. Money in the Bank. The Anaconda Vice on the right side of the monitor now. CM Punk onto Christian. Christian tapping out. But again, as I just said, the only way to win this match is to climb the ladder and bring down that briefcase. CM Punk now realising this. And I thought he was going to be climbing the ladder, but... Deciding against it, instead taking Christian down again into that Anaconda Vice. We just saw the no lock or yes lock or the bell lock, whatever you guys want to call it. Once again under Kane and followed up by, by a big springboard manoeuvre. I keep saying it, but this match has been incredible. Action left, right and centre. Reversal after reversal. Finisher after finisher. This one has definitely been one of the best ladder matches and the best Money in the Bank ladder matches we have ever seen. Daniel Bryan being sent for that huge choke slam by the seven foot big red machine. And now Christian CM Punk on the top of that ladder. Christian reverses it. Oh, into that sunset flip power bomb. Taking the former WWE champion down to the mat. And now a reverse DDT. Sending back of the Punk's head onto that steel ladder. That is not going to feel good in the morning for Punk. And now what is this? Christian. Oh, big flapjack again. Sending Punk face down onto the steel. As the members of Team Hell No are still going at it on the right side of the screen. And another flapjack by the Captain Christian. Surely somebody has got to be climbing the ladder. Because this match cannot go on forever. Oh, but Christian. Oh, the unprettier under CM Punk. Okay, now that power slam. Oh, and that trademark drop kick. Both feet into the face of Daniel Bryan. And you can see Christian on that side of the ring getting a breather almost momentarily. This match has been something special. Oh, the bell lock being locked in. Oh no, CM Punk fighting out of it. And now fighting out of it completely into that big snap neck breaker. And this match still continues. Are we ever going to see this match end? Who is going to be Mr. Money in the Bank on the WWE Championship side? Is it going to be CM Punk? Is it going to be Daniel Bryan? Kane? Christian? Randy Orton or the returning RVD. Surely we are going to be finding out sooner rather than later. Because we are already roughly 50 minutes into the show. And we have still got a huge WWE Championship match still to come. That match of course being John Cena taking on Mark Henry. That match is going to be great. That match is coming up next. So not too far away at all.
Daniel Bryan now attempting to set the ladder up, but CM Punk instead climbing the ladder, as well as Randy Orton. Orton and Punk now on that ladder. Oh, but what is that? A white noise maneuver. Sending RKO down yet again. But the ladder again being set up. CM Punk doing the right thing. Climbing up. Briefcase in hand. Oh, but Rand Yorton sending the ladder away. CM Punk in no man's land. Hanging 50 foot high above the ring. Oh, but CM Punk dropping onto that still. The briefcase still remains high above the ring. So this match does continue. Oh, big arm breaker there by Christian. On to CM Punk. Captain Charisma now doing the right thing. Setting that ladder up. Christian, briefcase in hand. Oh, but again interrupted. This time it's RVD interrupting the captain. And for a, <laughs> for a consecutive time again. RVD looking great in this one. As I said previously, this is the first time we have seen RVD in a WWE ring as a full-fledged member of the WWE roster since 2006. So if RVD can win this match, what a great way to make your return to become the Mr. Money in the Bank. Who can forget RVD's previous run as Mr. Money in the Bank? when he eventually cashed in against John Cena at One Night Stand 2006 when RVD became the WWE Champion for the first time in his illustrious career. So consider it now guys if RVD could win this match and if John Cena wins tonight's main event then there's a possibility we're going to be seeing RVD John Cena sometime soon. But of course, that all depends on if RVD can win this match and whether John Cena can win his match because we've got a long way to go. Christian now again climb that ladder as is RVD. Can either of these men pull that championship down? RVD with the upper hand. Oh, kicking Christian off. RVD briefcase in hand. Can he finally put it down? Oh, but Daniel Bryan interrupting. But Daniel Bryan pulling RVD down. This match is going to continue. This match, arguably, one of the longest matches we have seen in Money in the Bank history. But again, RVD to top of the ladder. Oh, and he gets it. RVD pulling that briefcase down. And we finally have a winner. What a great Money in the Bank match that was. But RVD, for the second time in his career, the brand new Mr. Money in the Bank. What a great way to make your WWE return. RVD now has that contract which entitles him to a WWE Championship match anytime he chooses over the next 12 months. What a great win by Mr. Pay-Per-View. RVD back in the WWE.